What is the best book to improve your British slang? Hmm. Why don't we take a look in today's video? Hello everybody and welcome back to Lloyd's Everyday English. It's a pleasure to have you here. If this is your first time watching my video, my name is Lloyd. Welcome. My job is to try and help to take your English to the next level. And if you want to be more like a native speaker, then you need to know a lot of slang. So what I've done is I've gone onto Amazon and I found a fantastic book about British slang, which I would like to share with you. Also, if you're interested in getting the book that I'm talking about today, there is a link below to Amazon where you can get the book on either Kindle or paperback. Anyway, so the book I'm talking about is called Knickers in a Twist. And the expression knickers in a twist basically means to be too angry, too uptight. You need to calm down. Hey, don't get your knickers in a twist. So why don't we take a look inside? So as you can see, here is the book dictionary of British slang, knickers in a twist. And da, 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 da. so I just want to show you the contents page here because it's uh, okay. It's got a lot of things. So you can see there's acronyms, bad behavior, body language, catchphrases, all different situations when you're sick, giving compliments, drugs, drink. Uh, music, money, all different types of things, which I think is good because you want to be able to use the slang in all different situations, right? Okay, so here's a few examples. Let's look at a few examples here. A mug. Now, this is a pretty common British slang word here, mug. If somebody is a mug, that means they are very gullible, very gullible. Uh, they believe anything. Ah, oh, don't be such a mug. Don't be such a mug. Don't believe what everybody says. Um, let's see, whatever. He, what else is here? Mm -hmm. Okay, ropey. Yeah, this is a very British slang word here. Ropey. Poor quality. Something is very ropey. The quality is not very good. Um, that restaurant was a bit ropey, for example. <laughs> this is a classic British slang expression. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. Okay, all different situations. Oh, this is... Let's look at one more. <laughs> so as you can see, the different types of situations. Okay. How do you think you say this one? Anybody? Okay, this word is... Four. Four. And you say this, as you can see, uh, when you see somebody that you like. If you're a man and you see a woman, four, she's beautiful. Or a woman sees a very handsome man, four. <laughs> so we have some interesting words there. Anyway, everybody, I hope you uh, enjoyed this little video. Check out the book Hold on. if you are interested. The link is in this description. But, uh, if you do click on the link under this video um, and you buy the book, then I will receive a tiny, tiny little percentage, maybe like, uh, I don't know, a few cents or something. Anyway, everybody, hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy the book if you get it, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.